Hey fellow garage golfers, who'd like to see some E6 Connect action on the SkyTrack? I'm bringing it to you right now. All right, thanks again for watching and welcome back. Rolling here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. So I thought I'd show you some E6 Connect action on the SkyTrack today. I've been getting a lot of inquiries about golf simulators and golf products, and I've been lucky enough to be blessed here to have a few different options that I can show you guys. So today, I'm gonna to be bringing you some E6 Connect on the SkyTrack. And I gotta be really honest with you guys, I haven't been in here in the past two months and part of it is the whole COVID-19 stuff that we've been dealing with it just kind of got to me, to be honest with you. I don't know if, who at home has it got to, but to me, I haven't even been in here. And uh, it's definitely something that I'm kind of bringing myself in here to get myself back in the groove. I've been kind of down in the dumps about this whole thing. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that have, but it's really kind of affected me, to be honest. So I'm looking forward to getting back in here and having some action on the simulator, be able to show you guys at home. And why am I doing this? I'm not really doing this to show you me golfing, obviously, because I suck at golf, so that's okay. I enjoy it. But I really want to show you guys some options at home because I have a lot of people who are interested in different things. And I'm lucky enough to have a SkyTrack and a Unicorn system. I have E6 Connect and the Golf Club 2019 that I can show you guys at home. So if there's anything that you'd like to see, let me know, I'll be happy to bring it to you. So today, we're actually gonna be playing three holes and E6 Connect. We're gonna be bringing that to you here. I'm gonna show you gameplay, unedited gameplay. So I'm gonna obviously fast forward between shots, but I'm gonna show you how many times the SkyTrack picks up the golf ball and how many times it doesn't. That's one of the questions I get a lot. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite features of E6 Connect as well. So I'm looking forward to bringing it to you. Let me know if there's something I don't show you in this video that you guys would like to see. And if you'd like to see this on Unicore as well, let me know. But for now, I really, really enjoy the SkyTrack and it's a really affordable price point for a lot of people out there. So I'm looking forward to bringing it to you. Let's get started. So before we get started, let's go ahead and turn on our handy light. With the SkyTrack, I've now used this light to help it pick up the golf ball a little bit better. And I found really, really good feedback from that light. So I've been getting very little misread since I've had this LED light. If you're interested in the LED light, I'll put it in the video description below. And if you're not familiar with how we do this at home, we're gonna pick three holes on the golf course today. We're playing the Cabo del Sol Ocean Course on E6 Connect. Jack Nicholas named this the finest three finishing holes in golf. So that's pretty cool. I'm interested in trying it out. I'm gonna be showing you the action. Once I hit the shot, I'll show you the actual gameplay here on the screen. We'll pull that up for you. I know the image behind me can sometimes be washed out a little bit. I'm not great with technology, with the camera stuff. I'd love to learn how to fix that a little bit more so I don't have to do that for you as far as pulling it up, but I'd rather have you see the graphics as well. So first things first, Bertie's. If you haven't used Bertie's before, check them out. One of my favorite products to use with a golf simulator. You don't need real tees. I have a true strike mat. You don't need a real tee for it. You can use Bertie's. I'll put the video, uh, the link in the video description for Bertie's. I don't have any affiliation with them. Just a really, really cool product. So check out Bertie's if you haven't used them. Hole number 16, 388 yards. We're going to be using the driver. Again, I have not played around the golf or even been in here in about two months. So bear with me on the bad shots. This is more for feedback at home of what you guys think about E6 Connect. All right, so bad fade on that one. I'm right in front of this building. Um, 232 yards total. And I have the tracer set up where it follows the ball for a few seconds. And then you can adjust it from there where it actually will follow it a lot closer. You can adjust different camera views with E6 Connect as well. All right, so pretty bad first shot. I'm now 176 yards away. Two things about the SkyTrack. Number one, as you saw from the first shot, there's about a five second delay roughly, and I made edit it so the delay's not there as much. But just so you know, about three to five second delay, and honestly, there's a lot of complaints about that, but over time, you just kind of get used to it. You finish your swing, and by the time you look up, your shot's ready to go. So the other cool thing about the SkyTrack though is that you can use your own golf balls, and that's obviously appealing. You don't have to mark them for hitting your shots 
or for putting. So that's a really cool feature as well. All right, so 176 yards, I'm gonna use the six iron, see if we get it there. All right, that felt like a pretty good strike overall. And I hit it solid, I just didn't hit it where I wanted. So 186 yard total. And here you see all the stats on the screen as well, which is nice. All right, so now I'm gonna have a 30 yard shot and I'm five inches uphill. So let me show you how to work uh, the greens again on E6 Connect. All right, so if you wanna see how the green's gonna break, all you gotta do is click on the mini map up here. And you're gonna see, actually, this one's gonna have about a five inch break to the right and it's gonna be uphill. So we're gonna aim right about here, right on the front of the green, right on the fringe, and see if we can get it up there and roll it close to the hole. All right, we got about a 30 yard shot total. And another tip for Skytrack, depending upon how you're gonna hit a shot, if you're gonna hit a flop shot, I tend to find you wanna put the ball about two inches in front of the laser. If you're gonna hit more of a line shot or even a driver, sometimes you wanna put it about, a, about one to two inches behind the laser and about two inches in front of the laser for the flop shot. So I'm gonna hit just a normal shot. I'll put it right on the laser on this one. All right, a little bit of a glitch possibly there. I don't know if you saw that on your screen or not. Um, I don't know why my computer must have done something crazy there, but that's not normal. All right, hit that one way too hard. I got my putt set up now. The way I like to have the putting set up with E6 Connect is the align break feature, and I'll probably get chastised at home for that, but uh, I just like it better where I just can line it up and then hit it for pace because putting on a simulator is always different anyways, and for me, it's just a matter of getting a feel for the putt. So it's gonna auto align my putt in this situation. Now on tournaments and things later, you'll have to do your own adjusting, but it gets you through a round of golf a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up my putt. It automatically lines it up for me. And now I'm gonna be hitting a 36 foot putt, but six inches downhill. So it's just more about timing now and getting it close. I think I have the gimme set about five feet as well. So let's go ahead and hit that putt. Putting with a Skytrek is very easy. You don't really have to do anything crazy. You just line up the ball and you putt it. So I hit that one too soft, obviously. So it broke immediately to the left. And now I'm hitting my fifth shot for bogey. See, it's automatically ready though now. So all I gotta do is place the ball down and I can putt without having to go back and forth to the computer every time. Now there are some pretty cool things out there that you can find on the open market where you can adjust your putt right or left with a tool on the floor, like an extended uh, joystick or something like that, which would be nice. I look forward to hopefully testing one of those out here in the future. But for now, just to make it a little easier, I'm gonna auto align the putts. And as you see, it didn't quite help me necessarily on the last one. Got an 11 foot putt now, and we're going to hit four inches downhill. It's about nine feet from my hitting area to my screen. All right, I made the putt for bogey. Let's move on to number 17. All right, so number 17 is about 135 yards and it's about seven inches downhill. So we're gonna use probably an eight or a nine iron and see if we can get it there. The other thing is uh, you can use the bird tees on iron shots directly off the tee box as well, which is nice. I've not had any issues with the Skytrack not picking that up. Let's see if we can get it on the green. Now for this shot, I'm gonna use this, the smallest bird tee that you can see. It looks like a bottle cap almost, but it works really well for tee shots with your irons. Just put that right on the laser dot and we're ready to go. We're gonna try to get a nine iron there and see if we can get it on the green. All right, so it felt good. Is it gonna be too short though? Get up there, get up there. Just missed it. But hopefully we can get it close to the flagstick or maybe chip one in. 
All right, here's one other thing I don't like. You see how you don't see the ball here on the screen? You can click the three dots that are here on the screen and then right here, if you click the ball, you're now gonna be behind the ball, which I like better. Uh, so now we can just aim anywhere on here. You're gonna see how it breaks as you drag it left or right. How the arrow points is how it's gonna break from there. So you'll see it breaking to the left here, but it's actually two inches uphill in that direction. So just to kind of give you an idea. So I'm gonna aim a little bit right of the flag stick and we're gonna to try to chip one up there about 21 feet. All right, we'll be using the 56 degree. See if we can get it close here. Within five feet, that should be a gimme. Moving on to 18, we got a par on that hole. If you want to line up your shot anywhere before you hit off the tee, you can drag it here right or left. My average driver would be somewhere between 220, sometimes 180, anywhere up to 250 if I hit it good. So I'm going to aim here. I tend to hit it normally as a draw, but my first shot on the last hole was not a draw. So we're going to aim her about right there, see if we can get it on the green. Not on the green, on the fairway. All right, let's pray that it draws this time. This is going to be 355 yards, it's a par four. And it's straight at least, but I'm still gonna be in the sand. And maybe <laughs> in the water, can I hit from there? Let's find out. And my ball's in the water. I don't know if we can hit from there or not. Now see, that's not right, because that wasn't in the water. The water came to it. So see, I shouldn't get penalized for that. We are going to take a drop. Now how come I can drop it there? Am I not gonna be in the water still if I drop it there? I'm all up and down that shoreline no matter where I drop it. So I'm gonna go ahead and, it won't let me drop it there. I have to drop it there, I guess. There we go. No water there. 191 yards now. Sorry guys, I wish I could play some better golf for you, but then it wouldn't be 100% legit garage golf. And that's why we keep it here, 100% legit. Try to get a five iron close to the green now. That's a good strike. Not a bad shot. That's all I could really ask for from that spot. We're now 56 feet, um, but we're actually eight inches uphill when he's a 56 degree again. Too hard. All right, so this is actually perfect to show you. I'm on the fringe and I wanna putt. So there's something that you wanna do before you putt from the fringe. Let me go ahead and take you to the computer and show you. All right, so now if we're on the fringe and we wanna putt, we need to make sure we change our club, all right? We wanna make sure we change it to putter. And now it's going to read that a little bit differently than it would if you had that sandwich. If you were to try to putt from there, you're gonna get a lot of backspin and it's not going to read it the right way. So make sure you change it to putter if you're on the fringe and you wanna putt. And now you see we're 37 feet away and we're one inch uphill. So we're gonna go ahead and hit a good putt and see if we can get it nearby the hole. I'm not even gonna pretend like we're gonna make it. One last thing is the actual stint meter. You can actually set the stint meter to whatever you feel is very close to your indoor setting. So I think mine, I have it set pretty fast actually to somewhere around 12. Uh, I think the stint on the turf I have here is about 11. I don't have the ideal setup of putting straight, so I have the mat in front, so I can have at least a straight rollout. And I do have a little ramp that I built on the true strike that allows me to putt straight onto that mat. 
Um, but you can adjust that. So if you see things are a little bit different than what you see in, indoors, wherever your setup is and how you feel it should be, you can adjust the stint meter for that as well. And that's one feature I really love about E6 Connect. All right, 37 feet. Not the greatest putt, and I still have work to do. We now have a putt of about eight feet. Let's see if we can get it in there. Ooh, that one went in sideways. I'll take that because that doesn't happen too often in real life. All right, so you see I wasn't lying to you. I haven't played golf in about two months and it shows so but i really wanted to show you guys a little bit more about e6 connect on skytrack i'm going to be trying to bring these videos to you every week or at least a couple times here and there so i can show you a little bit more on different products and different programs again i have the golf club 2019 for unicorn and for skytrack and i have e6 connect for unicorn and for skytrack so i'd love to show you more let me know what you'd like to see at home hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give us a big thumbs up we greatly appreciate that if you have not yet done so, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like what you saw here today. Join, uh, join our Facebook group as well if you have not yet done so because that's where we communicate with each other. You can Facebook message me anytime, get any questions answered. And if you're interested in a setup similar to what you see behind me or even a little bit more entry level as well, let me know. Reach out to me at roland at mygaragegolf.com or check out our landing page at rain or shine golf at rain or shine golf .com backslash garage golf and i'll put all the links for you guys uh, on the video and in the description so you can see it hope you like this let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see that i didn't show you any questions you have on e6 connect or about our setup here i'm going to be doing a more updated uh what's in our garage golf setup here for you guys here in the near future so i look forward to bringing that out to you and i'll be bringing more videos like this so let me know if there's any courses you'd like to see on e6 connect or anything else that we can bring your way i really really appreciate you guys hanging out with us I hope that we get past all this stuff out there, the craziness in our world with this COVID-19 stuff. But I think a lot of people are seeing the appeal of having a setup like this. And again, even if it's just a monitor and a net, you can start that way because we just never know what else is gonna happen now. And I think our world has changed a little bit uh, in the future. So even when we do get back to normal, I think we're gonna be seeing a little bit different situations out there. So I'd love to answer any questions that you guys have. I'm glad that I got back in here. I look forward to doing more. Uh, got to get my head out of the sand and uh, kind of get over this mini depression that I've been having with this whole with this whole situation. But there's some scary stuff out there, guys, and I just got to keep it 100% legit with you. So let me know if there's any questions you have, anything I can do for anyone at home. Reach out to me, message me. I love to communicate with you guys, even if it's just to say hello, see how you guys are doing. So hope you guys stay safe out there. And until the next time, as always, keep on golfing.